So now let's talk about a uh, method of testing of a material. So this one called is PT or a uh, penetrant testing. So this method is um, a testing of material which through a, met, um, a function of in DT, which means that uh, non-destructive testing. So it means that um, the material is not need to decompose it into a pieces in order for us to um, to get its component like its strength capability durability and etc so now let's talk about its introduction so pt uh, penetrant testing is an undistracted testing as i said earlier that builds on a principle of visual ins inspection so through uh, visual image you can able to figure out uh, the material components so now let's talk about uh, how this thing work so if for example you have um, a liquid substance that you need to know its component so you uh, put it in under test so we, in order to proceed the, t the test we need to put some penetrant or this penetrant um, works penetrates into the surface breaking discontinuities so discontinuities is sometimes called the defects of a material via capillary action and other mechanism. So what makes a PT works? So it works through a capillary action. So this is the phenomenon a liquid rising or climbing when a wind confined to a small openings due to surface heating properties of the liquid. So now let's talk about the basic process of PT. So how does it work or how the process go on? So first is clean and dry component. So this is the most important um, uh, step of how to do the test. Because in dry and cleaning, we can able to remove the dust, the unnecessary um, substances in order for us to um, eliminate the contaminants that might be possible occur in this process or on the material. So second is apply penetrant. The third one is remove excess of a penetrant because too much uh, penetrant will affect our precision and accuracy of the test. The fourth one is apply developer. So this developer is the one who pull the trap of the penetrants out of the defects. And the third one, and the fifth one is the visual ins inspection or the image. This is the result actually from um, getting the process one to pour very carefully. We can able to get the image. So this is the time that we can finally see it's the, um, the materials components. So how we are going to conclude at the end what the materials characteristic. And lastly is post clean components. So after doing the test, putting some penetrant and developer, after the test, we get the result. And the last is we need to clean the material. So now let's talk um, what can be expected through using this PT. So what's really the purpose why we need to use PT on some materials? So it says that requires a smooth or non-porous surface so in PT it works only in a smooth and non-porous surfaces only to which um, we can able to acquire or determine the discontinuities or the defects that that present in the material so what cannot be inspected via PT component with rough surfaces so rough surfaces is not included on this test. As I said, only smooth and non-porous materials that could able to cover this kind of testing. Porous ceramic, like um, the glass type is not included. Wood and other fibrous materials also not included. Plastics, because plastics can absorb or react with a penetrant material. So it, it's, it, it, it is not good. It makes uh, worse about this thing so the component with coatings that prevent penetrance from entering the packs a material that's coating because you know coating is the one used to uh, prevent corrosion so
So in order to proceed with the test, you need to remove first the coating material coat of the material before you're going to undergo the PT the PT or the penetrant test. So now let's talk about the types of discontinuities that can be detected uh, through using PT. First is rolled products. So we can able to determine its cracks, seams, laminations. So as we all know that we cannot able to see even our naked eyes the cracks inside the materials. That's why we need some PT or penetrant test in order for us to have a visual image in order for us to get some information or components of our materials inside to its periphery. Second is casting. So casting is a, um, another kind of method of um, metal. So cold shots, hot tears, porosity, blow holes, then shrinkage. Third one is purging. So purging is another um, process of a material which is basically compressing the metal to, to into its uh, smaller dimensions in order for us to get um, high strength or durability of a material. So through this PT test, we can able to determine its cracks, lap, external burst lastly is wilds or you know the process of welding of a material so through PT or penetrant test you can able to determine its cracks porosity undercut overlap and lack of fusion lack of penetration and now let's proceed to choices of penetrant material so there's actually two types of uh, penetrant material. First is the fluorescent, second is the visible. So on method on how to um, process this one is we have E, B, C, D, we have four, which is the water washable, post emulsifiable or lipophilic. Third one is solvent removable. Fourth one is post emulsifiable or hydrophilic. Now let's talk about developer. So the form of developer is dry powder, wet or water soluble, wet or water suspendable, and the last one is wet or non aqueous. So penetrant removal method. So now after um, putting some penetrant to a material to proceed to an, into a testing, after the testing we need to remove this kind of um thing so we need to remove the penetrants after the testing so in order for to remove that one we need uh we have these three methods first is solvent removable penetrates are removed by wiping them with a cloth dampen with solvent the second one is water washable penetrate penetrants are removed with a coarse spray of water and the last one is post emulsifiable Penetrants are water washable only after they have reacted with an emulsifier solution. Developers. Now let's talk about developers. So this is the rule of a developer is to pull trap penetrant out of the pegs and to spread it out of the surface so that it can be seen. Also provide a light background to increase contrast when visible penetrant is used. Now, developer materials are available in several different forms. First is the dry powder. Second is the wet water sus suspendable. Third one is wet water soluble. So now let's talk about the step by step on how the penetrant testing. So first is pre-clean. As I said earlier that we need to clean it because this is the most important part of the testing so, so apply some penetrant on the material third one excess penetrant removal developer application PIP is inspect then evaluate so this is the time that we can able to get the visual image in order for us to conclude or say something about the materials characteristic after that is post clean so clean the material after the testing so pre-cleaning, 
is done through uh, to free of dirt. So the cleaning process must remove contaminants from the surfaces of the parts and defects and must plug any of the of the defects. So pre cleaning is the most important step in the PT process. So let's talk about the application of penetrants. So we have brushing, spraying, dipping or immersing, blow on and more as you at what you can see in the illustration there or the picture. And then the removal of the excess of the penetrance, solvent removal, water washable, and post immersable. So applying the developer, so as I said er earlier, that it should able to pull drop the penetrance out of the defects in order for us to, sa to see the ability of uh, the components of the material. So through dry, wet, and non accused wet. Last is inspection and evaluation. This is the time that we can able to determine the uh, material characteristics. So, as what you can see in the image, that's how the image displays on the test. So, a very important step of evaluation is to document findings on inspection report form or other record keeping form. This may be supported with drawings or photos of indication, etc. Last one is post clean. The final step in the penetrance inspection process is to truly clean the part that has been tested to remove all the penetrance processing materials. The residual materials could possibly affect the performance of the part or affect its visual appeal. So, remove um, all the penetrance and developer after the testing so to not affect the performance the total performance of a material that you have tested so talk about this um, kinds of uh, penetrance inspection system or PIS so now we have what your portable penetrance system and the second one is stationary penetrance system. So in portable penetrance system, you can able to um, easy manipulate, lift the uh, the materials and test it. In stationary penetrance system, it is stationary, so static. The only thing that you do is put the materials inside at one and test it. So now let's talk about the advantages of penetrance testing. So first is relative ease of use. So it is a simple, uh, easy to use, etc. Can be used on a wide range of material types. Large areas or large volumes of parts materials can be inspected rapidly and at low cost. Parts with complex geometrics are routinely inspected. Indications are produced directly on surface of the part, providing a visual image of the discontinuity. Initial equipment investment is low. Aerosol spray can, uh, can make equipment very portable. Now let's proceed to a limitation of penetrance testing. Only detects surface breaking defects. So the characteristic that the PT is capable of is just the breaking defects. Re requires relatively smooth, non-porous materials. So just a smooth, a rough material is not included on this test. It is out of its limitation. Pre-cleaning is critical. Contaminants can mask so contaminants might occur if proper or uh, proper pre cleaning is not met requires multiple operation under controlled condition chemical handling precautions necessary toxic toxicity fire waste that's why um professionals 
is the one who handles this test. Metals smearing from machining, grinding, and other operation inhibits detection. Materials may need to be itched prior to inspection. Post cleaning is necessary to remove chemicals. So that's all about the PT or the penetrance testing.